part three of my Forbidden Planet mystery box unboxing. Welcome back all you awesome people to the Geeky Heathen channel. I am Glenn aka the Geeky Heathen and for those of you who watched part one and part two you're probably going to know what's in this box because I've got a feeling these boxes are all the same. <laughs> uh, those of you who have not there is links in the description down below there's pop-ups somewhere above me and you can follow them and you can see part one part two Basically, I went to Forbidden Planet in Wolverhampton. I found these boxes. Mystery goodie box. Four or more items with a total RIP of £30 or more for only £5. £5, four or more items. I thought, I'm going to have to go get some of these. There was only three in the store. I picked all three of them up. I just noticed on this box, though, this is the last one. I'm, I'm filming them all in a row. I've just noticed on this one they've got a little sticker on here, which is a little uh, like Spin Planet sticker. It says goodie bag, dump free. Price five. Reference goodie bag. Dump free. I just dump three of them around the store or is this just, just like a dump area? Do you have there's areas Spin Planet that are they're called dump areas? They have like dump area free where they dump all the rubbish that no one wants. <laughs> um, maybe that's what this is. I'm going to predict a plushie. A dwarves. A Star Wars figure and some booster packs for a card game. Probably Vanguard card fight because that's what's been in all the rest of them. Um, they have been the other two were different though, so they had the same items but different characters from each item. So let's see. Third time lucky. Is it going to be exactly the same, or we're going to have something absolutely amazing? Once I've unboxed them as well. I'm trying to decide which one of these out of these three was my favourite. Let me have a poll for that. Let's get this open and see what's in this one. Resigning flare, that is. But. So the packaging is exactly the same as the last two. Some bubble wrap on top. I don't know if I want to look. I might just do this blind style, just reach back. What is that? <laughs> it's a plushie of some sorts, but not like the others. Okay. Teen Titans Go plushies. I haven't seen Teen Titans Go. What character is this then? Doesn't say. Okay, there's a Teen Titans plushie. <laughs> I have no idea as to what this is. I haven't seen Teen Titans though. I've seen lots of artwork for it and pictures for it. I know it's DC, but I normally see like the uh, you normally see like the Robin sort of character in it. You know, there's a picture for it. I don't know who this character is. Just stand up. No. Oh, just about. This, I just want to see if he stood up. I'll see if I show you. He kind of just wobbles and falls. Just about stands up. This plushie does. Item one, plushie. This, oh, I was say this might be completely different, but it's not. There is cards in here, and there's two, and it is as predicted. So it is Card Fight Vanguard, Seal Dragons Unleashed, and Moonlit Dragon Fang. Two booster packs. Not a bad item to have in, in, a, in a box, though. I do like collecting card games. I haven't collected any of these, but I've got quite a few of these now. Maybe I should start collecting them <laughs> purely for, from these boxes. Okay, next item. Right, so there's a Dorbs and there's going to be a Star Wars figure. Uh, that's what I can feel. I'll get the Dorbs out first. Ooh. Ooh. And it's Ooh. <laughs> Sephiroth off the end, Vampire Rain, 
and it is an exclusive. It has a European sticker exclusive on it that I wrote exclusive to. Sephiroth of the End, Vampire Reign, Shinoe Hiragi. Now, I have not seen this, but I'm a huge fan of anime, and I probably will get around to watching this. So, this I am quite happy to have in my collection. I'm going to put this to one side. A bow in the back of the hair. There are some other characters from the series who I don't know because I haven't seen it. I like this figure. It's holding what looks like a scythe. Hold it at this thing where you can see the weapon a bit better. Ooh. I like that dwarves. I like the colour as well, the black and the green. My two of my favourite colours. That's a nice dwarves. It's probably my favourite dwarves out of the ones. So yeah, last item is. Oh good, I haven't got this character either. So it is Star Wars Force Link and this is Rose. Look at this, I quite like the face sculpt on this one actually. It's quite good. I've been keeping these in the boxes. Um, I was trying to figure out what weapon she came with. I saw the gun and then there's this little thing here. That's the little taser thing that she zaps him with <laughs> when they first meet in the very in the first movie. Uh, not the first movie, the second movie when they meet. Spoiler, if you haven't seen, but if you haven't seen The Last Jedi, then why? It, the new one's out really, really, really soon. And I, I don't even know when I'm releasing this video, so it might even be out. Probably not that long. I'm going to stay these videos out, but not that long. <laughs> um, yeah. So, again, four items. Let me make sure, yeah. So these boxes were all exactly the same. But they they say RRP thirty pound or more. They did it. RRP thirty pound or more. I think they did a good job. So you had the plushie, which was this guy. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below who this character is. So normal YouTube stuff. Comment, like, share, subscribe. But let me know who this character is. I'm trying to think of, of a green DC character with like a one tooth. Probably something really, really obvious, and I'll be like, why did I not think of that? But there's a plushie that doesn't like the stand very well from Teen Titans Go. There was the Sephiroth of the End Dwarves. I really like this, and it's got the exclusive sticker on it. I really, really like that Dwarves. Becoming a Dwarves fan. <laughs> I don't know how this like, like made me love them so much. We have the Star Wars Force Link Rose figure. It's better. So the last ones, they all stood exactly the same way. And we had the two Vanguard card packs. The booster packs, or card packs? What, what, what are these things called? <laughs> Had a little bit of the mind blank there. Um, not bad. Like I say, RRP is £30. You only pay £5 for these boxes. If they do any more of these, I probably will pick them up. <laughs> um, I'm not too sure what I'll do with the plushies. They will probably be giveaway items. I've probably got a little giveaway box to build up out of all this stuff that I'm not really keen on, which is mostly the plushies. <laughs> so, the plushie. No idea where it's from. It's a plushie, £10. Let's say, let's say £10 RRP. It's probably £12. So, £10. We'll say £10 for the, for the doors as well. That's £20. These RRP are like, like £12. So, that's £32. And then I'm, I've am i been guessing these cards. I may be wrong, though, in the price of these because I don't know this card game. I'm just basing it upon, like, Magic the Gathering and Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions cards. So I was guessing these are about £4 a pack. Uh, but you maybe you, know, you might get them cheaper. You might be able to get, like, three for £10 if you buy them that way. But I'm classing that at £8. So 32 for £40. Brilliant value. Um, that's the RRP, so you can get these items cheaper elsewhere. Rose again, is there a, there's a sticky there's a sticky mark on the front here? I don't know. The camera probably won't pick it up. So there was like a sticker on there, so that she would have been in a sale somewhere. She would have been. I said it in the last one as well. Entertainer is a good place for picking up Star Wars figures like this. I wish there was an entertainer in my hometown here in Milton Keynes, but there's not. 
you have to, I have to travel far, but kind of worth it. So RRP, yeah, it smashed it. It's, it's forty pound worth there. So that, so it has smashed the value. Said especially considering I paid five pound. I think for five pound, I would pay five pound for one figure normally. I would have paid five pound for a Star Wars figure. I mean, any of these items probably would have paid five pound for. Even two of these packs for five pound would be an amazing deal because just one of them alone, I'd say, is about four pound. But let me know what you think. My favourite item in this one is going to be Sephiroth off the end. Am I saying that right? Seph Seraph? Sorry, Seraph off the end. Maybe I'm still saying that wrong. Let me know again. I actually love that, Dwarves. Out of these three boxes, because there was three boxes, my favourite box... It's a difficult one. I did like the first one. Uh, the plushie was Aquaman. And I wasn't keen on the plushie. I liked the door in it. It was Deckard. Uh, that was quite nice. But then I think this is my favourite one, actually. But apart from the plushie, I'm quite happy with these three items. I like this, and it's exclusive. So I'd say it's a win. What do you guys think of these boxes, though? Let me know everything in the description down below. Comment, like, share, subscribe. I keep saying that throughout this video. <laughs> um, but that plushie probably give away i give away things that like on my patreon each month so if you want to join patreon you can patreon for as little as one dollar a month getting you access to giveaways and early access videos to all of my videos that go up on youtube but i'm gonna end it here i'm geeky heathen as always much love until next time stay awesome <laughs>